But you know what's so crazy? I I was thinking about this recently, and I think I, I said it at, at one of these. It was it was pre or right at the beginning of COVID or pre COVID, and I was talking about test drives, and I said, you know, now I've got this data, and for twenty something years, you know, I've terminated people over what you're talking about, right? And it's it, you you didn't go on that test drive. You put the customer out by themselves multiple times. The, you know, you had we had demos back then. You're gonna have to ask the customer to give you a ride home because you're not gonna be working here anymore. And I've been on that on both sides. It didn't it didn't feel good, and I still have some bad memories about you know having to do that. Yeah, but that was just the way. Yeah. And then and then when uh, right before right around COVID, I we started using digital retail and sales. We could actually quantify what percentage of the you know so it, with iPad selling, iPads have a speed sensor on them. And this part I didn't share. Uh, I, I didn't know this. that. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> So you could share that with the team, but I told them, I said, you know what? I don't want anybody to know that. Not that because I'm trying to do some secret covert stuff. It's because I didn't want them to affect the placebo, I guess. Yeah. So I wanted to see what it really was for myself. You know, what I always want to know that how, what's the impact of test drives? I always heard 78%, 87% is what, you know, all the closing ratios and what has to happen. And it wasn't like that, right? So I'm looking at it and they're driving around the building. They're not going on the de designated route. I'm losing my mind, but I can't say anything because I'm going to affect the, the, the test, right? Yeah. And I'm, But I'm realizing after, I think it was 5,000 of these things, that there was, it was just all over the board. There was no rhyme or reason to it. But selection, if they selected the right vehicle back when we had inventory, that drove the numbers like we thought test drives did. So if they selected the right vehicle the first time, it skyrocketed, right? I think it was like 68%. If they, they had to switch into a second vehicle, it dropped into the 30s. And then if they had to switch into a third vehicle, it was like in the single digits closing ratio wise. And I'm like, so we should have just been spending all the time on selection instead of punishing people and all the, think about all the stress and all the things that we did to people about test drives. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't even a lead measure that drove results. Hello everyone. I wanted to tell you about a workshop we're holding at NADA 2023. We're covering how EV adoption rates will impact fixed operations in the future. We'll show you real and meaningful data that might just put you at ease. Or maybe not, you'll have to come see. Come join us at our workshop, How Electric Vehicles Will Change Fixed Operations. We'll see you there.